everyone, I'm Jesse from DarkStormReviews.com and welcome to my comics and Blu-ray haul for September 24th, 2014. Uh, I didn't pick up all of this today, this is throughout the week. I'll start off with today's comics. Uh, Future's End, Red Lantern, 3D cover. There you go. Uh, Star Spangled Stor War War Stories, uh, G.I. Zombie. That's a really cool cover, it's pretty badass, I like that. Harley Quinn. 3D as well. I love this one. This is one of my favorite covers for sure. I like that a lot. Uh, Edge of Spider-Verse, issue 3. That's the variant. Pretty cool. And Superman Doomed, issue 2. It's over. Not quite. Uh, I thought this was finally going to be the end of the whole Doomed thing that I I flipped to the last page. I didn't spoil anything for myself. It just uh, says... Next, Doomed Aftermath in Action Comics 35 and 5 years from now in Futures N22, which is next week. So that maybe will be interesting. We'll see. Harbinger, The Omegas, Issue 2. I did not read the first one yet. Um, Princess Ugg, Issue 4 by Ted Knifey. Or Knifey. Something like that. He's awesome. Courtney Crumman, creator. Really awesome guy. And Terry Moore's Rachel Rising continues to be one of my favorite things to read. Uh, anything by Terry Moore is awesome, and uh, Rachel Rising is my favorite of his works. And Original Sin tie-in, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy 19. <clears throat> Fire and Stone, Aliens. Uh, uh, for those who don't know, this is uh, Fire and Stone is a crossover with uh, Prometheus, Aliens, Alien vs. Predator, and Predator. Uh, continuing on through March, I think. I think that's when it's end. Somewhere around there. And so that's pretty awesome. And Deadpool 35. <clears throat> Future's End. Fif Future's End. 21. 21. There we go. And Saga 23. <clears throat> And Harley Quinn uh, Vengeance Unlimited came out today, a uh, trade, so I picked up that. And Previews is out today too, so there's the Marvel one with uh, Axis on it there, and uh, on the other side we got uh, Shield. And the main Previews book with uh, Robin Rises Alpha on uh, this side, and Cable on the other. <coughs> And on Saturday, I got 35% off this guy at Chapters, the Infinity Gauntlet Omnibus. Awesome. I've been wanting this for a while. Um, previously, I'd only had the uh, trade for the main story, which I love. It's one of my favorite stories, uh, Marvel stories. And uh, I got this one signed by George Perez last year, last uh, May. Here in Ottawa, pretty awesome. Awesome guy, really nice guy. Got my picture with him too. And so here's the back of it there. And the side, and I'll show you the cover, cover without the jacket there, because it's actually really cool too. Oh, there's the front. Side, and there's the back. So it's a really nice book. Okay, let's put that aside for now. <clears throat> and uh, if you've seen my Universal Monsters Blu-ray uh, haul video from a few days ago, about a week ago, whenever I did that, um, <clears throat> eight classic Universal uh, monster movies recently came out on Blu-ray for the first time. I picked up six of them. Uh, and I said uh, in the video I'd probably pick up the other two eventually, and I did. So the other two were uh, Dracula. Uh, this has, excuse me, I have a cold, sorry. Um, this has the Spanish version on here too, which uh, I read many years ago. Uh, many people think that's the uh, superior version, the Spanish version, but I never got around to seeing it, so now I can see it. And Phantom of the Opera. Um, this is the one movie, this is the one of the eight movies that I have actually not seen. Um, I didn't really pay any attention uh, to this when I first saw them all in the store. I just assumed it was the silent version from 1921 and just figured, well, pick it up later, you know, whatever. 
Uh, but no, this is actually the one with Claude Rains from 1943, I think, 40 something. Uh, and for whatever reason, I never saw this one, so this will be a new movie for me. And uh, just like all the other ones, they came with ultraviolet and iTunes codes, which is awesome. And I picked up the HMV exclusive steelbook of Godzilla. This is a really cool steel book. Uh, I don't know how well you can tell, but uh, the tail here, it's all raised. And check this out, we're in the corner here. How awesome is that? Really, really cool. And I'll show you the open, open up the case there. There's the DVD copy there. And that came with an ultraviolet coat as well. And today, that was on the weekend, uh, and today, oh no, I also got uh, Captain America Winter Soldier finally as well. And I was disappointed there was no uh, ultraviolet code in this. Uh, there was none advertised on it, but uh, I saw the 3D version, I think, uh, has an ultraviolet code advertised on the front. And they didn't include it in this, which is kind of lame, but whatever. Um, so, yeah, that was the weekend, and today I picked up, uh, also at HMV, Jaws. I have not owned this movie since VHS, so it's been a while since I've seen this. Uh, this was made in my birth year, 1975, and uh, this was also the biggest uh, box office uh, smash um, of all time, well, for two years until Star Wars, Star Wars took it away in 1977. Um, and there's a whole bunch of uh, extra stuff on here, which is great. And there's also an ultraviolet and iTunes code in here as well, which is, I thought it was a nice surprise because it wasn't advertised anywhere on the cover. There's no stickers on it saying that. I opened it up, there's codes, so awesome. And um, obviously I'm in a really big monster mood. <clears throat> Uh, right now, so I also picked up the triple feature Rebirth of Mothra 1, 2, and 3, the trilogy uh, made in the 90s, like 96 or whatever it was, uh, in the 90s. Um, so that's on uh, two discs, and this also came with an ultraviolet code, uh, one code for all three movies, so that's really cool. And uh, these are not Blu rays or DVDs, but uh, this is a really good buy. Uh, this was twenty nine ninety five whatever um, Godzilla collection. It's DVD. You get uh, they kiss they say eight movies, which it kind of is, but it's also kind of seven. Uh, you get uh, Gogeta, the original Godzilla uh, version, and Godzilla. Godzilla raids again. Mothra versus Godzilla. Ghidorah, the three headed monster invasion, um, or also known as uh, versus Monster v Monster Zero, Astro Monster, whatever. So many different names for all of them, right? Uh, all Monsters Attack, also known as Godzilla's Revenge, and Terror of Mechagodzilla, which is one of my all-time favorite Godzilla movies. Uh, I actually got to see Terror of Mechagodzilla subtitled um, in English, original Japanese, 1990-something uh, at uh, one of the repertory theaters here called the Mayfair. So that was a really cool experience. Anyway, uh, <clears throat> this is a really great set because... It includes the Japanese and uh, English versions of all of the films. So over every single one of the movies, um, you get the original Japanese version with English subtitles, plus the uh, 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 sorry, plus the English dub. Um, so <clears throat> it's a really good buy. It's a great deal, and uh, it doesn't say that anywhere on the box, which is kind of unfortunate uh, you know they, they might sell more copies of these that they would actually advertise that but it doesn't say anywhere on the back or the front there was I mean it says original uncut Godzilla here but it doesn't say that you get both versions of every film that's on here um, but anyway that's it's great that it does it's awesome and uh, that's about it. Uh, like, subscriptions, comments, very much appreciated. I'm Jesse from DarkStormReviews.com. Thank you very much for watching and see ya.